This is but one of the legends of which the people speak. Long ago, there existed a kingdom where a golden power lay hidden. It was a prosperous land, blessed with green forests, tall mountains, and peaks. But one day a man of great evil found the golden power and took it for himself. With its strength at his command, he spread darkness across the kingdom. But then, when all hope had died and the hour of doom seemed at hand, a young boy clothed in green appeared as if from nowhere. Wielding the blade of evil's bane, they sealed the Dark One away and gave the land light. This boy, who traveled through time to save the land, was known as the Hero of Time. The boy's tale was passed down through generations until it became legend. Then, a day came when a fell wind began to blow across the kingdom. A great evil that all thought had been forever sealed away by the hero. Once again crept forth from the depths of the earth, eager to resume its dark designs. The people believed that the hero of time would again come to save them. But the hero did not appear. Faced by an onslaught of evil, the people could do nothing but appeal to the gods. In their last hour, as doom drew nigh, they left their future in the hands of fate. What became of that kingdom? None remain who know. The memory of the kingdom vanished, but its legend survived on the wind's breath. On a certain island, it became customary to guard boys in green when they came of age. Clothed in the green of fears, they aspired to find heroic blades and cast down evil. The elders wished only for the youths to know courage, like the hero of legend.
Happy birthday! Goals, I call it Errol's Lookout. So, do you remember what day it is today? You're still half asleep, aren't you? Did you forget? Big Brother, it's your birthday! That's why Grandma's been waiting for you to come back to the house. She's been waiting for a while now. It's a good thing I came to find you. You should probably go home and see what Grandma wants, don't you think? I've been waiting for you, Link. Here you are, Link. Try these on. These are special clothes, made of a special fabric that only the honest can see. Time certainly flies. I can't believe you're already old enough to wear these clothes. What's the matter? Why the long face? You can see them, can't you? <laughs> well, today is the day we commemorate the fact that you've reached the same age as the hero of the legends. You have to be proud about that for at least one day. Put them on and see if you can't fool anybody in town. In the olden days, this was the day boys were finally considered to be men. They were taught the ways of the sword to prepare them for battle with their enemies. But we don't live in such an age any longer. Our ways are the ways of peace. Nowadays, I suppose Orca is the only one on the island who still knows anything about swordplay. Hanging the family shield on the wall as decoration is another tradition that has been carried down from those days. Does all this make sense to you? Mm -hmm. Isn't that nice, Link? Oh, they suit you perfectly. A perfect fit. Well, tonight I'm going to invite the whole town over for your birthday party, so I'd better start getting ready, shouldn't I? Your grandma is going to make your favorite soup for you tonight. Mmm. I just know you're looking forward to it. Now, go get your sister, Errol. Big brother, did Grandma make that outfit for you? You always wear the same outfit. I think you need a new look. I guess they're pretty neat, though. So, anyway, Link, can you close your eyes and hold out your hand? Just for a second. I'm going to give you my most treasured belonging. But just for one day. Happy birthday! Yay! <laughs> so, well, do you like it? I'm letting you borrow this special gift just because you're my big brother. Aren't you lucky? <laughs> Ooh, why don't you try it out? Right now. Try looking over at our house from here. Hey, what's that? Link, are you looking at the red post box? Postman looks kind of weird, doesn't he? Ah! Link! The sky! Look up in the sky!
that girl fell into the forest. She needs help. But it's too dangerous for you to go in there without something you can use to defend yourself with. Oh, what is the matter, Link? You have an urgent look about you. Has something happened? Whatever it is, from the look on your face, I suspect it is no laughing matter. What say you, Link? Ah, have you come for some serious instruction in the way of the sword? That's the way! Come at me once more! Ho, 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 ho! That was a fine display. And yet, I sense a certain anxiousness in the sword you hold. An eagerness that goes far beyond the mere desire to be wielded on the fields of battle. I do not know what has happened, but I have faith in you. Somehow, I doubt you will misuse that sword. You may have it, Link. I give it freely. Take the blade with you. Yay! Since the olden days, this sword has been used to fend off evil. Its blade is infused with the desire to become strong and righteous. Be strong, Link. Get up. Well, whatever. So, where am I? Oh, that's right. That giant bird came and. Miss! Miss Tetra! Oh, oh, thank. Thank goodness. You're safe. When I saw you get dropped on the summit, I thought for sure you'd. Summit? So that bird dropped me on top of a mountain? Well, wasn't that nice of it? Well, don't just stand there. Let's go! Time to repay our debt to that bird in full! But, miss, what about this boy? Don't worry about him! Come on! Hmm.
wanted to come with us on our ship? Huh? Do you understand what you're asking? We're pirates! You know, pirates! The terror of the seas! What do we get out of bringing some helpless little kid along with us? I'll tell you what we get, a headache. I know how you must feel, with your sister having been kidnapped and all. But that doesn't really have anything to do with us, now does it? And how do you figure that? Whoa, whoa, whoa there! Just who are you? Where do you get off butting in on someone else's conversation? Please. All I mean to say is that if you big bad pirates hadn't come to this quiet little island, that poor girl wouldn't have been snatched away by that bird. And just what do you mean by that? Just be quiet for a moment and I'll tell you. Now, as my work entails delivering letters, I spend much of my time traveling amongst the many different islands. As a result, I hear many things. Haven't any of you heard word that young girls have been getting kidnapped lately from all regions of the Great Sea? No matter. Whether you've heard it or not, that seems to be the case. Young girls with long ears like yours have been getting kidnapped never to be seen again. And unless my eyes have failed me, the young girl who was kidnapped from the island also has long ears, does she not? Much like you do, Miss Fearsome Pirate. My point is that the bird mistook that poor girl for you, and that's why it grabbed her. <sighs> and correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it was young Link here who saved you from the monsters in the forest, wasn't it? Is this true? Oh, and while I'm at it, I may as well tell you that the bird that kidnapped both you and Link's sister has made its foul nest to the north on the heights of the Forsaken Fortress. The Forsaken Fortress? Isn't that the place where... So, what are you going to do? Under the circumstances, I don't think it would be unreasonable for you to give Link a little help, now would it? Hmph, I don't need you to tell me that. Even if I were to consider it, lately I've heard nothing but evil rumors about this Forsaken Fortress. You can't possibly mean to go there with nothing but that cheap little sword. That's not brave, it's stupid. I mean, come on. Even a simple little island like this has to have something you can use as a shield. You know, something to protect yourself with. Anything. Tell you what, if you come back with something like that, we'll let you stow away on our ship. Oh, and one more thing. Once we leave, you won't be coming back here for a while. So you better say goodbye to your family while you still have the chance. I don't want you getting all weepy-eyed and homesick on me. Link, I thought I heard Errol's voice cry from far away. Is it... is it really true? What is it, Link? Please, tell Grandma what's troubling you. And where's Errol? Is she still playing outside with the gulls? Link? Is this what you're looking for? Take it with you. Oh. I guess it is true. Arrow really has been kidnapped. Hasn't she? <laughs> what kind of monster would take such a sweet young child? <laughs> oh, Arrow.
going to go on, do you think? Do you have an estimate? Huh? Are you sure you shouldn't just quit right now? Seriously, think about it. I can tell you're just going to get more sentimental from here on out. There's still time, you know. Are you sure we shouldn't just turn around and take you back to your island? one's way. I've told Nico to look after you, so you better report below decks and ask him what you should be doing. Listen, shrimp, you're really creeping me out standing there like that. So quit it, yeah? Stay out of my way. Way out of my way. Go down below and find Nico. Hmm. That Nico didn't make out half bad, with you being the new swabby and all. New Swabbies always get stuck doing the hardest work. It's a real raw deal, but hey, I'll tell you. It sure sounds like Nico is happy to finally not be the bottom rung on the pirate ladder. Oh, you bet he is. Hey, but don't sweat it. I'm sure you'll do just fine. So long as you don't disobey him. So, you really plan on going into the Forsaken Fortress? Listen. I'll tell you once I see it. So climb down, will ya? So, your name's Link, right? <laughs> That's one weird getup you got on there. So, what's the deal? Is that popular back in your island, or what? Now that I think about it, though, I think I've seen an outfit like that before somewhere. Oh, now I remember. <laughs> I was eating shrimp last night. <laughs> Stop right there! This is Miss Tetra's cabin. Most of us real pirates aren't even allowed in here. There's no way we're letting an outsider in. Don't you even think it! You're probably wondering why we treat young Miss Tetra with so much respect when she's clearly so much younger than us, aren't you now? Now, I won't go saying this in a very loud voice, but while she may look young, Miss Tetra is actually 35. Arr! That's a joke, Shrimpy. I suppose it was just chance that we lost our last miss while Miss Tetra was still young. Ooh, fate is cruel she is. That's why Miss Tetra took over so young. She owes it to her predecessor. Everyone's come to respect her for that, for coping with so much at such an age. Respect has nothing to do with how many years you've been on the Earth. But you're probably too young to understand that. Oh, well now. Ahoy there, Swabby! As of today... <laughs> I am your superior, Nico! Now I promise I'll go easy on you. So you do as I say, okay? Right. Now, first off, you have to take the test all new pirates have to take. It's a bit of a doozy, so get ready. You watch everything I'm about to show you real careful-like, so you can cram it into your no-doubt mushy, swabby brain. First off, you gotta press this switch. This is the only easy part. Ah! 
Now check it out. After the platforms rise up from the floor, you gotta jump on them. Okay, so I was able to jump to this first one myself, but that next one is too far, right? That's when you gotta do this! Ha! <laughs> so, do you think you get how to do it? You have to swing from platform to platform, and try to get to the entrance of that room over there. Here's the problem though, Swabby. The platforms only stay raised for a little while, so if you don't get there by the time they drop, you have to start over. Ha! It'll probably take you at least one year before you're good enough to make it all the way here. One rough year, one tough year, full of bumps and bruises. Of course, if you manage to do it faster, I'll reward you. Now, give it a try. This ought to be good for a chuckle or two. <laughs> ha! What? You did it already? I, I, I'm proud to have you as, as my, as my underling. See why not? I doubt I'll get busted. All right, Swabby. I'll tell you what. You can have the treasure in that chest over there. It's your reward from the great and generous Nico. Hurry and take it before someone comes. doing with Nico? Don't tell me you were playing some stupid game for treasure. Were you? Well, whatever. There's something you need to see. Have a look over there. That's the cursed isle known as the Forsaken Fortress. Hmm. There are all sorts of strange rumors about this place. What I do know is that long ago, it used to be the hideout of a no-good group of pirates we used to compete with. But they were just small time. Now, the place looks like it's pretty dangerous. Ah, I knew it! Look! Over there! By that window! Have you ever seen so many seagulls flock like that before? I'll bet you anything that's the place where they've got your sister locked up. But it looks like the whole place is under really tight guard. This won't work. We'd be spotted before we got anywhere near landing there. Hmm. What do we do now? a dangerous place like that, this is the only way to do it. Trust me. We pirates do this all the time. Don't worry about it. It'll be a piece of cake. Is everybody ready? Never you fear, kid. We're pros. We're going to launch you good. Three, two, one.
your sword landed all the way up there? Shoot! I'm sorry. I apologize. I guess my aim was off by a little bit. <laughs> the look on your face? Priceless! Huh? <laughs> I slipped the stone into your pocket just before we fired you over there. It's no ordinary stone, either. I can see what you're doing through this stone, and obviously you can hear me through it. Hey, but listen carefully. I need this back after you save your sister, so don't go losing it, you understand? All right then, down to brass tacks. The courtyard is awash with searchlights, so they'll see you right away if you just go charging in. Better think it through. Link. Link. Wake up, Link. Pull yourself together, Link. senses yet? You are surprisingly dull-witted. <laughs> Did I startle you? I suppose that is only natural. As wide as the world is, I am the only boat upon it who can speak the words of men. I am the king of red lions. Do not fear. I am not your enemy. Link, I have been watching you since you went to the Forsaken Fortress to rescue your sister. I understand how your desire to protect your sister could give you the courage to fearlessly stand up to anything. But such a bold attempt was foolhardy. I suppose you saw him, the shadow that commands that monstrous bird. His name is Ganon. He who obtained the power of the gods, attempted to cover the land in darkness, and was ultimately sealed away by the very power he hoped to command. He is the very same Ganon, the emperor of the dark realm the ancient legends speak of. I do not know why the seal of the gods has failed, 
But now that Ganon has returned, the world is once again being threatened by his evil magic. Tell me, Link, do you still wish to save your sister from him? Hmm. And will you do anything to save her? Mm-hmm. I see. In that case, I shall guide you as we go forward, advising you on what you should do and where you must go. Ganon cannot be defeated by human hands, let alone by what little strength you possess. The key to defeating Ganon is locked away in a great power that you can wield only after much toil and hardship. Do you understand? In that case, we depart to the Great Sea. Ah, uh, but I am getting ahead of myself. This is actually a bit embarrassing for me to admit, but although I am indeed a boat that possesses the power of speech, I possess no sail. And a boat with no sail can sail no seas. I have brought you far to the east of the dark gaze of the Forsaken Fortress. On this island is a town of merchants who deal in a wide variety of goods. If you search hard enough, surely you can find one who will sell you a sail. I am sorry to ask this of you, but without a sail, I will be useless to you. But remember, there is no time to play. Come back here immediately as soon as your errands are done. daughter doesn't give you a single rupee, you know. Please, please save my poor daughter. I beg of you. Here I stand, begging. I hope you'll give those scoundrels in the Forsaken Fortress a good scare. They'll pay for what they've done. Oh, yes, pay! You don't look at all familiar, buddy. Are you some kind of tourist or something? If you are, I'll show you around. Why don't you join me for a little stroll around town? Our Windfall Island may be a little cozy, so to speak, but people from all over the world come here. The town's always lively. <laughs> Why, just walking around and having a look at things is quite fun. That's the mark of a great town. If you could indulge me for a moment, please admit that I am looking fine. Why, looking this fine would have won me the Miss Windfall crown way back when. I'm still looking better than all the younger girls I know. <laughs> Welcome to the fleet. I am the great Admiral Dolvalski. Look sharp, for we are the sole protectors of this island. Ooh. Admiral, red alert, all hands on deck. Well, what do you think of my outfit? You don't see clothes like this often, do you? Aren't they so cute? A friend of mine who lives on Outset Island sent this outfit to me. She's an amazing girl. She can put jars on her head and walk around like it's nothing at all. You have to see it to believe it. This town is our turf. The turf of the world famous killer bees. Don't mess with us. Yeah! Buzz! Buzz! Hey! It's just because you're older. Don't think it makes you tough or anything. You stink, mister. <laughs> hey, bud. What are you? Some kind of country rude? I mean, look at that outfit. What a getup. We ain't seen your face around here before, bud. You must feel pretty lonely walking around a place like this all by yourself. What are you doing anyway? <laughs> are you a hick or something? Why are you wandering around here looking so sad? 
You think it's fun to go walking through town looking all pathetic? You think that makes you a big man? You're looking for a sail? I have no idea where you'd find one. Do I look like a sailor to you? Look, I'm feeling down right now, so shove up, will you? Go pester that guy in the massive coat or whatever. My story is a strange one. I came across cursed seas from a land far away. A land where the blizzards blow violently, heading for this town called Windfall. Dear me, my ship was torn apart by vicious winds, and this island is where I washed ashore. There was one other person with me. Yes, there was. But I dare say, he was immediately arrested based on his somewhat suspicious looks and thrown right into jail. Yes, just locked up somewhere on this island. Needless to say, I'm really worried about him. Would you be so kind as to help free him from captivity? Indeed, it would be appreciated. My appearance does not surprise you. Then you, sir, must be a fairy, just like Tingle. Goodness, did you feel my telepathy? That's why you saved me, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Do not worry. Tingle knows without you telling him, sir. Yes, sir. Tingle is my name. I have been looking for you and your kind, for I too long to be one of the fairy folk. And yet, I was mistaken for some kind of troublemaker and put into this dreadful sort of place. How disrespectful! Please, Mr. Fairy, rescue poor Tingle from this place and take him to where you and your kind live in splendor! Help! Ah! Hooray! Thank you oh so very much! Here is Tingle's heartfelt gift of thanks! Tingle, Tingle, Kululim, become an item! Splendid! Tingle is returning now to his own special island. Will you come find him? Ah! I was forgetting something important. Oh, Mr. Fairy! You want to come to my island, don't you? Don't you? Don't you? Yay! need any help with your charts, just leave it to Tingle. Don't ever forget it. Really? You have rescued him? That is news I deem rather great. You are one stand-up individual, indeed you are. Now I apologize, as I have but another favor. I'm actually considering starting up a little shop here on the island, but I'm having trouble funding my venture. I have but one asset to my name. I wonder if you might buy it from me, perhaps. The people on this island have no interest in venturing out into these dangerous seas, so my chance of selling it to them is rather bleak. The bleakest I can describe. I'd really like to ask 200 rupees for it. But as a favor for rescuing my friend, perhaps we may strike a deal. How does... 80 rupees, sir. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you very much indeed. I have received precisely 80 rupees for it. I can use these funds to finance my new business. Oh dear me, what a happy day. Very well, young master. As I promised, please, take that. Yes, yes, yes! You have made a good purchase today, my young master. 
and you have saved my life and business as well. Treasure it dearly. It is the finest sale in the world. Treat it as such. Oh, that look in your eye. So you found yourself a sale, have you? Now, a westerly wind blows. Hop in and let it carry us to the east. There, on the horizon. That is our destination, Link. Dragon Roost Island. High atop this island's peak lives the spirit of the skies, a great dragon by the name of Valu. You must go see this dragon and request from him a jewel called Din's Pearl. Ask the people of the Rito tribe who inhabit this island about how to see the dragon. Oh, I almost forgot. Wait just a moment. This is the Wind Waker. It is a baton of sorts that was used long ago when the people played music in prayer to the gods. In those days, simply using it allowed one to borrow the power of the gods. But I do not know if it still works. Even so, I thought it might be of some use to you. Perhaps you should try using it. First, conduct in 3-4 time. Very nice, that was splendid. Next is 4-4 four, four time. That's it, Link. That was not bad for your first time using the Wind Waker. Not bad at all. Link? Link, is that you? It is. I'm pleased to see you're okay. I must say, you've traveled far for one with no wings. And your sister, is she? Is that so? Well, don't worry too much. I'm sure she'll hang in there. I have an idea, Link. Would you like to meet our chieftain? I've told my people here about you, and all of us Rito are very concerned. I'm certain the Chieftain will befriend you and lend you the aid of our Airy. It's settled then. I'll fly on ahead and let everyone know you're coming. Come inside, Link. I'll be waiting. Well, have you discovered the cause of the great Valu's anger? Ah, so, you are Link, are you? Quill has told me all about you. A troubling tale indeed. I insist that you let us know if there is anything we can do to help you. We shall do everything in our power to assist you. However, in the meantime, we have a problem of our own to deal with. When you arrived on the island, did you notice a raging dragon perched atop the mountain? As you can see, we of the Rito tribe are profoundly connected to the sky. We make our livings on the airways. We do so by the graces of the sky spirit, Valu. When a Rito reaches adulthood, he or she journeys to the top of Dragon Roost to receive a scale from the Great Dragon. It is the scale that enables the Rito to grow his or her wings. Recently, however, the once gentle Valu has grown violent and unpredictable. Sadly, we can no longer approach him. If this continues, the fledglings who are of age will never be able to receive scales from Valu on Dragon Roost. They will remain wingless, and in time, 
our very way of life will be threatened. As chieftain of the Rito, my first responsibility is to solve this problem. My apologies, but I must ask you to wait for our assistance until this is done. Will you do so? <gasps> chieftain, what do you think of consulting Link with regards to your son, Prince Komali? As you can see, Link is a gallant young lad. I feel certain that Prince Komali would open his heart to him and speak freely of his fears and worries. That may be. Let me be direct. My son, Kamali, is of the age to earn his wings. Yet, he is weak in some ways, and in light of the current situation, he may just give up on ever getting them. What say you? Will you share some of your courage with my son? Will you meet with my son? I thank you. We shall do our best to solve our problem as quickly as possible, so that we may better help you with yours. I have something I wish for you to give to my son. A young girl named Medley is holding it for me. Would you find her and take it? I am counting on you. You should find Medley in one of the upper rooms. Leave the Great Valu to us. In the meanwhile, do your best to aid Prince Komali. Wow! You really do have blue clothes! With a picture of a crawfish on them! You're Link, right? Oh! Me? I'm an attendant to the Great Sky Spear of Valu. My name is Medley. Well, to tell the truth, I'm not an attendant quite yet. I'm actually still studying to be one. Oh, what am I thinking? Here, this is from the Chieftain. Link, he wants you to give this directly to Prince Kamali. Yay! The room way in the back on the first floor is Prince Kamali's room. You have to go down a couple steps to get there. When you meet Prince Kamali, please don't get offended by his manner. He has no bad intentions, I promise. By the way, um... Listen, Link? I have a small favor I'd like to ask of you. Could you please come to the entrance of Dragon Roo's Cavern later? I'll explain everything then. A letter from my father? Oh, sure. Telling me to be brave is easy enough for him. It's not like he's the one who went through that horrible experience. It's not like he still has to go get a scale from Valu. You're in this letter too, you know. Poking your nose in other people's business. You're nosy, aren't you? Sorry. But I really don't feel like going to see Valu right now. I mean, how am I supposed to get a scale from him when he's so upset? What? Are you trying to say that you can calm Valu down? Psh! That's just a big fat lie! It's easy to say you can do anything. Bragging doesn't cost a thing. I'll tell you what. If you can find me someone who can get past all the obstacles on Dragon Roost to get to Valu, then I'll listen to anything you say. Hey, you actually came! I'm really sorry for bringing you to such a dangerous place. I had to. I wouldn't have asked if I didn't need help desperately. You see this place? There used to be a spring here, surrounded by a beautiful pond. It was peaceful and lovely. But then the great Baloo, he became so angry and in his rage, he shook the mountain and this boulder crashed down, plugging the spring. You can see the results. Oh, but where is my mind? Tell me, how is Prince Kamali? Oh, that doesn't sound right. Not at all. 
I may be partially to blame for the bad turn that Prince Kamali's taken. See, Prince Kamali's grandmother was the Great Baloo's former attendant. She was an amazing woman. I was honored to have her as my teacher. She was kind and brave and unsurpassed in her dealings with the Great Baloo. I'm not yet worthy of being mentioned in the same breath as her. If only I possessed some of her strength, I'm sure Prince Kamali would have felt more secure. Link, I'm sorry to ask this, but I need your help. I want to go to the small shrine that's near the peak of Dragon Roost, but that ledge over there is so high. If I could get some wind under my wings, I'm sure I could get up there. So... Will you help me? Woo! Thank you so much! Okay, pick me up. Then face that ledge and toss me! The atmospheric currents are really messed up, so pay close attention to the direction of the wind. All right, I'm ready. Don't hold back now. Throw me as hard as you can. Ha! Oh, thank you. I think now I'll be able to climb Dragon Roost and meet with the Great Baloo. Don't worry, I'll be fine. I may just be an apprentice attendant, but I can understand some of the Great Baloo's language. I'm not exactly bursting with confidence, but... Look, if anything happens to me, please look after Prince Komali! This is all I have to give you. I know it's not much, but please take it! Please don't tell anyone that I'm climbing Dragon Roost. It'll be our secret, okay? Well, good luck to both of us.
Link. <sighs> well, Prince Kamali, don't you have something you want to say? Um, I heard everything from Medley. Link, thank you so much. I'm sorry I mistrusted you. I hope I can be like you someday, Link. You will, Kamali! I just know it! Right, Link? So, Link... Here! I want you to take this, Link. Giving you the thing I value most will give me the courage I need to stand up to bad things. to you, Link. Oh, hero! Thank you! Oh, hero! Use the Wind God's wind! Use the Wind God's... wind? That's what he said, but... I don't understand. I wonder what it means. The Wind God's wind... I wonder what he's talking about has anything to do with the wind shrine that's through that tunnel. Oh, I almost forgot. The Great Baloo also names you, Link, a true hero. I agree with him. As far as we're concerned, Link, you really are a hero. Well, I'm gonna go and visit Baloo. I'll come and see you sometime. With the best pair of wings ever. Hey, Prince Komali! Thanks so much, Link. See you again someday. That's a mighty nice breeze. Ah! Uh -huh. The name's Zephos. I'm the god of winds. So, you're the new wind waker, are you? Great, great! For a beginner, you've got a nice wind sense about you. I like you, kid. That tune you just picked up? Well, it gives you control over the direction the wind blows. Depending on how it's used, wind can be a good thing or a very bad thing. If you want an example of it being a bad thing, then you should see my brother. It saddens me to say that my brother Cyclos is miffed about his monument here being broken, and now he spends his time creating cyclones to torment people with. So if you encounter any cyclones at sea, chastise my brother for me, will you? And that is my request for you. <laughs> it would seem that Ganon sent those monsters to this place. But that would mean... There is no time to lose. We must depart at once for the place where the next Pearl sleeps. We sail to the south. Hold it right there, small fry. I don't know where you got your mitts on that sea chart you got there. But it looks to me like it's pretty much got nothing but seas drawn on it. It's pathetic! In fact, it's almost an insult to call that thing a sea chart if you ask me. What's the matter, small fry? I'm just trying to be nice here. I'm telling you that you got a problem. And you do. Don't give me that stupefied look. It makes you look like you ought to be in diapers. Just listen, okay? I'm here to teach you what I know about this island. So open up your sea chart and make it snappy.
There's a real peculiar cave towards the backside of this here Dragon Roof Island. Yeah, real peculiar. But I doubt you'll ever get there to see it, small fry. Unless you manage to sprout wings and fly, that is. Guess you won't be getting there otherwise. That's all I can teach you, small fry. But I will do this for you. Since I'm feeling so generous, I send word to all my brethren living near the islands of the Great Sea. Good bunch of fish. If you see a fish leaping out of the water when you sail near an island, sail up to it and spread bait out on the water's surface. Trust me, this is good advice, Fry. See, the baiting process allows you to get a chart of the island, along with any info that might be of use to you. I highly recommend you make a habit of doing so. See, you're definitely gonna need a reliable sea chart to help you search for things out at sea. I can't empathize that enough, Fry. You need a well-drawn chart. If you don't get a chart of every island you come across, it'll just be a bigger hassle for you later on. Now don't say I never did anything for you, Fry. Oi, you there, you kingly red lion guy. That's it, I've repaid my debt. I'm done, you take care of the rest. Yes, do you not see what rises up from the horizon? That is where you must go, Link. The Forest Haven. It may appear as though this is but a great tree rising far above the ocean's surface, but it is a sacred place. It is inside this grotto that you will find the spirit of the earth, the great Deku Tree. You must speak with the Deku Tree and receive from him the sacred gem known as Faror's Pearl. I fear that Ganon's vile hand may have already reached this most sacred of sanctuaries. Go forth with caution, Link. Legendary hero? Has the king at long last found the hero of time? <gasps> what is the matter? Do you not understand the ancient Hylian tongue? So, you're not the hero of time. I must apologize. Was an error. I saw your clothing, and suddenly I felt a longing for an age gone by. That longing caused the ancient tongue to pass my lips. I am the guardian spirit of this forest haven, the Deku Tree. I owe you my thanks for your aid in ridding me of those foul creatures. Tell me, was it not the King of Red Lions, the boat who speaks, who led you to this place? Mm -hmm. So it is true. Then you have come here because you have need of the Pearl of the Goddess. I see. I knew there was a reason the monsters had begun to congregate in the regions around my wood. Now I understand it. He has returned. Ganon has returned. In that case, we must make haste. Koroks, little children of the woods, this traveler is not your enemy. Let your hearts be at ease and show yourselves.
What do you call yourself? Link? Well then, Link. These are the Koroks, the spirits of the forest. Once upon a time, long ago, the Koroks took on human forms. But when they came to live on the sea, they took these shapes. Now they fear people. But to me, they will ever be my cherished little children. As it happens, you have come just in time for a ceremony that the Koroks hold but once every year. It is about to begin. I shall grant the pearl to you once their ceremony is complete. I must apologize for the brief delay, but if the ceremony is not completed soon, an ill fate could befall us. So, let it begin! Are you ready, my children? We are not, oh great Deku Tree! Something terrible has happened! It is Makar! Makar! What is the matter, Linda? You and Makar are always late. No, it is not that, oh great Deku Tree! Makar fell into the Forbidden Woods! What? The Forbidden Woods? I told him to be careful, but still, Makar flew above the Forbidden Woods, and as he drew close to it... <sighs> Foolish little Makar. Link, you have heard all this? The Forbidden Woods are right beside the hallowed island of our forest haven. Those woods, the whole region, is a vile place that is home to evil. And now, it seems, they have taken a child of the forest named Makar. Your presence here is no mistake, I deem. The King of Red Lions likely expects great deeds of you. It is why he brought you here. I am sorry to ask this of you, but can you go rescue young Makar for me? But, Great Deku Tree, people cannot fly through the air. Ah, yes. Thank you, child. You are right. It is not possible to enter those woods from the sea, is it? Link, I would guess from your size that you are heavier than my Korok children. Yet, I think we may still be able to solve this dilemma. You must use the item I shall bestow upon you and fly through the sky. Forgive me, Link, but could you climb up to my crown and get the leaf from up there?
Tree sent you? Oh, th that's right! Today is the day of our annual ceremony! Oh, I'm in trouble. I shouldn't be here. I must get out of here immediately. You have returned safely. Oh, I'm sorry, Great Deku Tree. I know you warned us many times, but I still did not listen. Do not worry, Makar. You are safe now. Just be more careful from now on. You have done well, Link. I must thank you for your brave deeds. Here is that which I have promised you. Please accept it. Yay! It is my hope that this pearl shall lead you to a fair destiny. All is well, Makar. Do not cry. Please, play your songs for me as you always do. Oh, that's right! We must begin our ceremony soon before the day ends. I'm sorry to keep you all waiting. Let the ceremony begin! Oh, Great Link. As my thanks to you, I shall play even harder than I normally do. I hope you enjoy it. This place, too, has been attacked by Ganon. Could he already be regaining his power? Link, you must get the remaining pearl. It lies in a place northwest of here. We must set sail immediately. Look, Link. Do you see it? What has happened to this place? Oh. What is the meaning of this? The island, it is... We are too late. I knew we had a precious little time, but I never suspected how little. A great water spirit named Jaboon once lived here. No sign of him remains. So, you're here. I've been looking for you. Are you by chance seeking the Great Spirit, Jaboon? I'm sorry to report to you that Jaboon can no longer be found here. 
Just look at how this place has been torn to pieces. I suppose this, too, is the work of the Shadow in the Forsaken Fortress. But fear not. Jabun was able to flee this island before it was attacked. He's in a safer abode now. Would you like to guess where that abode may be? On the island where you were born. On Outset. Uh! Yet, even if you were to go to Outset now, you would not be able to see Jabun. The cave where he hides is sealed with a mighty stone slab that repels all who try to pass it. Why, not even the pirates with their mighty ship could get in. I must apologize, Link. I thought if anyone would know of your whereabouts, it would be the pirates. I told them this tale without so much as a thought for the consequences. I don't know what they hoped to get, but they immediately set sail for Outset Island and tried to break into the cave. It is lucky they could not gain entrance. I have heard that they were last spotted on Windfall Island, but doing what, I do not know. If you wish to see Jaboon, I think you'd better search for the pirates on Windfall Island. What an eerie isle this is. Everywhere else boasts clear skies and calm seas, but this place suffers under dark clouds and rain. Valu must have been right when he asked me to bring word of Jaboon to you. He called this island cursed. I would counsel against staying here longer than you have to. But that is your decision. I have told you of Jaboon, so my task is complete. So, Jaboon has survived. The sea spirit has lived through the trials of many long years. He must have caught wind of Ganon's attack beforehand. If we are to believe the words of the Rito Postman, then the pirates know something about the cave where Jaboon hides. Why don't we go first to Windfall and search for them there? Just as the postman told us, the pirate ship is stopped here to avoid drawing the attention of the townsfolk. I know not what they are researching, but if they are hoping to get their hands on Jaboon's sacred gem, I doubt they would tell you anything directly if you were to ask them. Link, I think you should try to find out what the pirates are up to, without them finding out about you. Is it true that pirates have invaded our peaceful little island? That's terrible news! What am I supposed to do if they come to my coffee house and start raising a ruckus? It's true! 100% true! I've seen it myself! A stern-looking pirate ship sailing full speed toward this little town! I swear on the sea! Now let's say just for a moment that pirates actually did come ashore. What would they want with a peaceful village like this? Tell me that, laddie! Ah, nothing better than a cup of refreshment at your local cafe after a long day's work. Absolutely nothing! I'm telling you, those pirates were just looking for a little relaxation. You don't find cafes on the high seas! Have you heard? There are pirates here on this island now. Right now! Well, that's what they say anyway. Me? I don't believe it. I just saw some strangers here in town. They went over toward the bomb shop. Why would they be going there? We're closed today, so scram! Now! It's not our fault that we absolutely gotta have bombs to get the treasure we're after. How about you just think of it as payback for the nasty little monopoly you've been running here, yeah? So I bet you're thinking it was foolhardy to ask pirates to pay such an outrageous price, huh? Yep, I bet you are. You know, Gonzo, I still can't get over that bit of fast-talking you pulled to get that information out of the postman. 
huh? Oh! Oh, yeah! That was smooth! I tell you, the minute I set my eyes on that Link, I just knew he was hiding something back at outset, yeah? So when I saw that postman, I just pretended like I was all worried about the kid and stuff. And presto! He spills the beans! Good work, Gonzo! Really, just top-notch! It's funny, though. I'm thinking this is maybe the first time you've shown such wit. Such cunning! You know, with your cunning and Miss Tetra's smarts, if you two got married and had a kid, that kid would be the greatest pirate to ever sail the seas! Yep, the greatest! Hey, you idiot! Keep your mouth shut, yeah? Don't be so stupid. <laughs> Miss Tetra, are you listening to this nitwit? Can't you dock him some pay or something? Quit goofing off, both of you. Keep your childish jokes to yourselves and get those bombs back to the ship. And the second you're done loading them up, we're setting sail for Outset Island. What? Miss, we have to leave immediately? But it's been so long since we were on shore. We need to fill our bellies with some good eating, yeah? How about we grub tonight and shove off tomorrow morning instead? I mean, uh, I'm fine either way, of course. Whatever you say is fine, miss, is what I mean to say. It's just that the boys were so excited to come to town, yeah? And I can't help but think it would be awful hard on them to leave so soon without a proper layover. So what say we set sail tomorrow, yeah? What do you say, miss? That treasure isn't going anywhere. You're with me, right, boys? Who's for a night of fun? Guys, back me up. You're all fools, do you know that? You saw the demolished island. You saw the senseless destruction. We have to hurry on to Outset, or the same thing could happen there. Huh? Uh, not to be disrespectful, but by the sound of things, you're worried more about that island than the treasure, miss. Don't be ridiculous. I want, you know, a treasure. Huh? <laughs> All right, fine. Have it your way. We can leave town tomorrow, you big babies. But we're setting sail at first light. So no sleeping in. Understood? Aye, aye! Say there, brother. What was today's password again? Marco, are you serious? You forgot already? You're so useless. Today's password is Swabbies, yeah? Remember? You know that Nico won't let you in if you don't say it exactly right. And he's real picky about it, so I'll say it once more. Today's password is Swabbies, yeah? Swabbies, eh? Who cleans pirates' ears? Right, right! You may enter. Oh, Link! My old swabby Link! So you're alive? All the other pirates said you got done in by that bird monster in the Forsaken Fortress. So I thought... Never mind what I thought. You're alive! Oh, I get it now. You came back because you missed me so much. I had no idea you wanted to be my swabby so badly. I see, I see. Well, after you left, I went back to being the bottom rung on the ladder. Which is why I'm stuck here while everyone else is in town having fun and eating and stuff. But, I guess being so worshipped by my swabby ought to cheer me up. Alright, why don't we set you to your next test, huh? 
This one is harder than the last. Good luck. You'll need it, Swabby. You can see there are lanterns hanging throughout the room, right? Well, last time when you pressed the switch, platforms rose up for you to jump onto, right? Yeah, well, this time, there aren't any. Which means you have to jump from one rope to the next rope. Pretty tough. Ha! And that's not all. This time, I've put a gate on this door, too. The switch opens the gate, but it'll close if you don't get here before time runs out. Run out of time, and you'll have to try it again, little swabby. The switch that opens the gate is in the same place as before, so go step on it. If you get all the way to this side before time runs out, I'll give you the bombs we got in town. Yeah, you heard me. Give it your best shot, Swabby. Yep. Ah! What? You've got to be... You did it already? You're... You're incredible. This isn't good. I've never even passed this test. How could he do it so quickly? And make it look so easy. And if I give this to him... Everyone will know for sure. Oh, I'll be so busted. Uh, okay. You're the best swabby of all time. So, I guess I'll just give you the bonds. Go on, take them. Just don't tell anyone, okay? I'm serious. Really serious. Okay? Okay? Courageous of you, trying to steal treasure from pirates. Uh -huh. I suppose I should be shocked, but I'm more amazed that you managed to survive after being tossed out of that tower. From the look on your face, I have to guess you haven't saved your sister yet, huh? You don't give things much thought, do you? You just rush in, never thinking how badly things can go for you. Like just now, the only reason you got what you did was because we left a simple-minded little rat like Nico behind to look after things. No one else would have parted with our treasure so easily, I assure you. And just how do you intend to use those bombs, anyway? Don't tell me you're going after Jaboon's treasure, too. Right now, Jaboon is hiding in a cave at the back of the island you were born on. But the entrance is blocked by a giant stone doorway. You can't get in without breaking down the door. We're going to relax in town and eat our fill of whatever this town has to offer, but we'll be leaving for outset first thing in the morning. If you manage to find Jaboon tonight, then I guess you win. But if you take too long, we'll come sailing right by you tomorrow morning. And believe me, you didn't get all of our bombs. You better be quick, kid. Wow, awesome. You have a stone just like the one that Miss Tetra has. Hey, how do you use that thing? Can you talk to Miss Tetra through that? Man, you're so lucky. Well done. Our preparations are complete. If what the girl says is true, the pirates won't be leaving until morning. You must meet with Jaboon and get the pearl from him before they arrive. Let us delay no longer, Link. Have you noticed, Link? Morning has not broken since we arrived at Great Fish Isle, the land that was so ravaged by monsters. It is as if time itself is frozen. Perhaps this is the curse that Baloo spoke of? Whatever the reason, if this night does not end, then we need not worry about the pirates overtaking us. In fact, it might not be a bad idea for you to visit your hometown and family again after such a long time away. We can speak with Jaboon after you do. Oh. <laughs> Link, 
Cyril. Don't go. Don't leave. Uh, don't leave your poor old grandma. All alone. Oh. <laughs> oh, Link, is that you, Link? Oh, Grandma is always happy to see your bright, shining face. Link, my dear sweet Link, you're safe. Oh, that's wonderful, just wonderful. Did you do this? Did you heal me? Oh, you're such a sweet child. Oh, that's right. You and your sister, Errol, are trying so hard to be strong. And I've just been sitting here moaning and worrying. I'm your grandmother. I'm the one who should be taking care of you. I'm so sorry, Link. I haven't even considered what you must be going through. I'm a terrible grandma. Link, this is all I have to give you right now. You can keep it in your empty bottle. You and your sister love this soup, don't you? If you run out, I can make it for you any time you like. Grandma's going to try to be strong, so you try to be strong too. But don't do anything reckless, all right? Are you ready? If that is the case, then we must search for the cave around the back side of Outset, where Jaboon is said to hide. Well met indeed, Jaboon. I am pleased to see that you are safe. The events that we have long feared seem to have been set into motion. Yes, it seems Ganon has returned. There can be no other explanation. If you have sought me out, it must mean you have found the Hero of Time, does it not? Unfortunately, that is not so. Then for what purpose have you come to see me? The one I have brought with me has no connection to the legendary one. And yet I sense great promise in the courage that this one possesses. Promise? You suggest that I leave the fate of Hyrule up to mere chance? I do. It is the only way. I see. Then I suppose it is up to the gods to deem whether his courage is true. I give you the guidepost to the gods. Oh. Hey! Thank you, Jabu. This jewel should dispel the curse that Ganon has cast upon this land. 
So, that foul rain and endless night were indeed elements of a curse brought on us by Ganon. He must intend to cast this land into pure darkness for all time. Tell me, Hyrule King, have you learned the whereabouts of the one who carries on the bloodline of the princess, Zelda? I believe I have. That is well. You must protect Zelda. She cannot be permitted to fall into the hands of Ganon. I am counting on you. Ganon's curse has been broken by the power of the pearl that Jaboon gave us, so morning should come soon. It is well that we have gathered all of the pearls. Are you ready, Link? I have marked the places where you must set the pearls on your seed chart. Once you have placed each of the pearls in its proper location, the proving grounds for your courage will become apparent. Clearly, the search for Jaboon has shown that Ganon has begun to make efforts to block our path forward. It is certain that the perils ahead will be greater than any you have faced thus far. Wandering traveler who seeks the guidepost of the goddesses, place the pearl you hold here. This tower, which the Pearls of the Gods have caused to appear, is a place that the gods of the ancient world prepared so that they might test the courage of men. Only one who is able to overcome the trials that await here will be acknowledged by the gods to be a true hero. Only then will that hero be permitted to wield the power to destroy the great evil. Link, that which you must obtain now lies before you. You must believe in your own courage which has led you to triumph over the many hardships you have faced. And you must triumph once again. You must rise above the trial of the gods.
What will now come to pass is tied to your fate, to the path that you have chosen. Go forward with caution. Done well, Link. It would seem the gods have acknowledged you to be a true hero. But this does not mean your trials have ended here. Once you take your first step into the world beyond the Ring of Light you see shimmering in the waves before you, your true trial will begin. Are you ready, Link? Hmm. <laughs> probably wondering where we are, aren't you? Unfortunately, there is not enough time for me to explain it to you now. Once you are able to strike down Ganon with the item you obtained in this castle, all will be made clear to you. Trust in my words. See what awaits you in the castle. All right, Link. I'll need you to listen to me for a moment. The item you seek is hidden somewhere in this castle. To find it, you must find the entrance to the basement. But that entrance has been blocked by a mighty threshold, firmly sealed to prevent evil from ever gaining access. Do you know where to search and what you must do to open the hidden way? You will find a clue in the shape of the heraldry near where we arrived at the castle. Excellent, Link. To perceive such a puzzle and decipher it is no small feat. Now, take the sword that lies before you. It is none other than the Master Sword, the Blade of Evil's Bane. It is the only sword that can banish Ganon from the world above. 
At long last, our preparations are complete. You must return to me so that we can return by the same path that brought us here. The time has come to save your sister from her prison in the Forsaken Fortress. Hurry, Link! Ganon has likely been made aware of our little incursion already. But you have the Master Sword. That sword shall shine in the darkness, casting back evil. With it in your hands, none can keep you from rescuing your sister. Do not be afraid. Won't open oh. that easily. There you go. Act 
acting before you think as usual. I swear, do you even realize that we had to draw that monster bird off for you? It was about to come flying in here after you again. Uh that sword! Where did you get that? Are you... Is it even possible? How could it be? Hmm. Well, never mind about that. For now, we'll just take these girls. I'm sure their fathers back in town will pay a handsome reward for their return. Hey, watch it, mister. This is no way to treat a lady. Unhand me this Wait. moment. I haven't said goodbye to Molly yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry to interrupt such a heartwarming reunion. But isn't there still something that you need to take care of? If you're worried about your sister, don't be. I promise I'll deliver her safely back to your little island. Normally, I'd expect a huge reward for something like this. But this time, it's my treat. Listen, Errol, your brother still has some things to take care of. Big, important, grown-up things. He'll be back soon, so you just wait nice and quiet until he returns, okay? But, big brother... Miss Tetra! We have to hurry! The bird will be here any second! Gonzo! Excellent! You're just in time. Take this one for me. Huh? But she's... She's fine! Just do as you're told! Uh. We'll be back. I swear it.
It's been a while, boy. You have done well to sneak into my fortress and wriggle your way all the way up here. I suppose the least I can do is commend you for your reckless courage. My name is Ganondorf, and I am the master of the Forsaken Fortress. Ah! By the way, boy, when you drew that sword of yours out of its pedestal, did you by chance notice how all of the monsters frozen in time down there suddenly began stirring again? What? Do you understand precisely what that means? I highly doubt you do. Foolish child, while that sword is indeed the blade of evil's bane, at the same time, it has long played another role. You see, it is also a sort of key. A most wretched little key that has kept the seal on me and my magic intact. By withdrawing the blade, you have broken that seal. cannot defeat me with a blade that does not sparkle with the power to repel evil. What you hold is useless. Go back to the world below and tell that to the pathetic fools who made this blade. Its power is gone and its edges are dull. Hey, ugly! <laughs> Link, get up! Ah! Uh, stop! Let, let me go! You pathetic little sea rat! <laughs> My triforce of power is resonating! At long last, I have found you, Princess Zelda! <laughs> what? What are you talking about? I don't know any Zelda. Feigning ignorance will gain you nothing. Tell me, if you are not Zelda, then why do you have this fragment of the Triforce? It's all right, Link. She's merely lost consciousness. Your sister has escaped the Forsaken Fortress with the pirates. You can relax. She's safe now. Lord Valu, you arrived not a moment too soon. We are deeply grateful. Still, it is too soon for us to relax. Ganon cannot be destroyed by such simple means as wrath and fire. I am aware of this. Yet I thought our first priority should be to separate these two from Ganon's grasp. I see. And I agree. Very well, then. 
We are counting on you. Link, I will explain things later. Now we must return to the world beneath the sea. Come now to the room where you got the Master Sword. Who is using that stone? Just who are you? Link and I are the only ones who could speak through this stone. How dare you use what's not yours? Your name is Tetra, correct? You must come with Link to see me at once. Hmm. <laughs> well, don't you sound important. Fine, we're on our way. Just hold your horses, whoever you are. Link, what are you waiting for? You heard the stone. You're supposed to show me how to get to where that voice is. speaking through my stone without my permission? Answer me! That stone is an enhanced version of the Gossip Stones long spoken of in the legends of the Hyrulean royal family. I am the one who made it. Ha! <laughs> you made it? The royal family's Gossip Stone? I'm sorry, but I have no idea what you're talking about. Have neither of you heard the tales? Tales of the kingdom spoken of in the legend of the great hero? The place where the power of the gods lies hidden? This place where the two of you now stand is that kingdom. This is Hyrule. And I am its king, Daphnis Johansson Hyrule. Link, do you not recognize my voice? Indeed, I am the one who guided you here. I am the King of Red Lions. There was no need for me to reveal my true identity to you, so long as that blade of the Master Sword could defeat Ganon. But now, both of you must listen to me. Once, long ago, this land of Hyrule was turned into a world of shadows by Ganon who sought to obtain the power of the gods for his own evil ends. My power alone could not stop the fiend, and our only choice was to leave the fate of the kingdom in the hands of the gods. When the gods heard our pleas, they chose to seal away not only Ganon, but Hyrule itself. And so, with a torrential downpour of rains from the heavens, our fair kingdom was soon buried beneath the waves forgotten at the bottom of the ocean. Yet all was not lost, for the gods knew that to seal the people away with the kingdom would be to grant Ganon's wish for the destruction of the land. So, before the sealing of the kingdom, the gods chose those who would build a new country and commanded them to take refuge on the mountaintops. Those people were your ancestors. Hundreds of years have passed since then. So long as Ganondorf was not revived, Hyrule would remain below, never waking from its slumber. Tetra, come to me. Uh? Uh? This necklace you wear is part of a sacred treasure called the Triforce of Wisdom, 
which has been passed down for many ages within the royal family of Hyrule. Your mother passed this down to you, and instructed you to treasure it, and to guard it with your life. Am I not correct? The Triforce of Wisdom is none other than the sacred power of the gods that we have kept from Ganon's clutches for so many long years. The gods placed upon your ancestors the task of protecting it from evil's grasp. You too must abide by the laws of the past. And so the time has come for me to teach you the fate into which you were born, the very reason that you live. You are the true heir of the royal family of Hyrule, the last link in the bloodline. You are Princess Zelda. Zelda? I'm... a princess? You are confused, aren't you? I suppose such is to be expected. Link! I am terribly sorry that you have been caught up in these events. But now that it is known that Tetra is indeed Princess Zelda, Ganon will be searching frantically for this child in an attempt to get the power of the gods that she possesses. He will not rest until he has found her. If he succeeds, my ancient kingdom under the sea will be turned into a land of shadow and despair. And so will the world you know above the waves. Link, I need you to lend me your strength in this dark hour. I have a suspicion about what has caused the Master Sword to lose its power. I need for you to come with me back to the lands above the water, and return the power to repel evil to the Master Sword. Hmm. Zelda? Huh? It is far too dangerous for you to join us in this task. Fortunately, this sacred chamber is not yet known to Ganon. It is my wish that you wait here in hiding until we return. <gasps> Link, we must go! Link, listen well. The fact that the Master Sword lost the power to repel evil suggests to me that something has happened to the Sages, who infused the blade with the God's power. The Sages should be here in Hyrule, in the Wind Temple to the north and the Earth Temple to the south, praying to the gods. You must head for these two temples to see what has happened to the Sages and attempt to find a way to recover the power to repel evil. Unfortunately, Ganon seems to have erected some sort of magical barrier down here in Hyrule, blocking our path to the temples. 
But each temple should have another entrance high upon Hyrule's mountaintops, which are now islands above the sea. As always, I shall mark these places on your sea chart. Now then, if we stay here much longer, we shall draw our enemies' attention to Princess Zelda's whereabouts. We must return to the surface immediately. who does not fear the gods. To the end of the sea with you! Let the winds of Cyclos wrath blow you away! That's a heck of an arm you got there. <laughs> and what an eye! No one's ever been able to spot me in there before now. You obviously have mastery of the air. Now that we've established that you're quite the wind waker, let's see if you can handle this. In the hands of a wind waker like you, my adorable little cyclones will be as happy as can be. If you need to move like the wind over the ocean deeps, just call my cyclones. Well, I guess I'll head for home now. See you on down the road. <laughs> Arrows can freeze the hottest flames, and fire arrows can melt the coldest ice. The fairies in this fountain will ease your weariness. Use them as you need to. Child, I must tell you, you are just my type. that you are equipped with the arrows of fire and ice, you should explore the islands that exemplify those elements. 
On our quest, you may have come across an island fuming with boiling lava, and one coated in sheer cold. Using those arrows to neutralize the island's effects may grant you entry, but only for a limited time. Inside those islands, you should be able to uncover special equipment that will benefit you. On one island, you will find powerful bracelets that give you immense strength. On another, you can find boots that will brace you to the ground. Try using them on the islands I have marked on your map. Chosen by the Master Sword, my name is Laruto. I am Azora Sage. For an age, I offered my prayers here in the Earth Temple, praying that the power to repel evil would ever remain within the Master Sword. And yet, unfortunately due to Ganondorf's evil designs, the Master Sword you hold has lost this power. After his defeat at the hands of the Hero of Time, Ganondorf was sealed away. But not for all time. He was revived, and he returned to Hyrule in a red wrath. He attacked this temple and stole my soul, knowing that he had to remove the power contained in that enchanted blade. In order to return the power to repel evil to your sword, you must find another to take my stead in this temple, and ask the gods for their assistance. You must find the one who carries on my bloodline, the one who holds the sacred instrument. Nothing can stop the flow of time, or the passing of generations. But the fate carried within my bloodline endures the ravages of all the years. It survives. The song you just conducted is one that will open the eyes of the new sage and awaken within that sage the melody that will carry our prayers to the gods. The door that blocks your way will only open when the sage plays that song. May the winds of fortune blow with you. Kamali's been asking me all about your adventures, Link. I can rest easy now that I've seen you safe and sound with my own eyes. Prince Kamali's turned into a fine young adult, hasn't he? Recently, he's even begun doing things on his own, without my guidance. Every conversation still ends up centered on you, though, Link. Watching Prince Kamali grow up fills me with pride. But it makes me a little sad as well. I wonder if this is how a mother feels. Oh, but just listen to me go on. How weird I must sound. <laughs> well, I better continue practicing so that I can be useful around here too. Performing music like this is an important duty of an attendant. Hey, is that the Wind Waker? Wow! Link, will you conduct me? I wonder how I'll do. <sighs> what a mysterious song. It sounds so... familiar. It's almost as if something I've forgotten is trying to be remembered. Oh, huh? I feel... Medley. Medley. I am Laruto, the late Zora Sage. Listen to my words, dear. 
You are the sage of the Earth Temple. The Master Sword needs your prayers. Listen to this, the Earth God's lyric. You know this song, right? Now you try. Well done, Nedley. Follow your destiny and aid the hero who wields the power to repel evil. I believe in you. Just now, a sage spoke to me. She spoke so gently. There's something... Something that I must do. Link. Thanks to you, I've been awakened to the knowledge that I'm a sage of the Earth Temple. There's actually something that I can do to help this world. It's incredible. I bet my teacher knew all about this. Link, please. You must take me to the Earth Temple. We must hurry and wake the power to repel evil that sleeps within the Master Sword. Let's go now. Quickly and quietly. Oh, Kamali. I just want him to remember me as a simple attendant. Medley? Medley, listen carefully to what I am about to tell you. The temple ahead is the nest of an evil creature. The same creature that stole the life of your predecessor, the Sage. It is a dark and frightening place. Link, protect Medley. And Medley, protect Link. The power to repel evil shall surely be returned to the Master Sword. Thank <laughs> you. 
power to repel evil is not yet fully awakened. To complete the awakening of the Master Sword, you must go to the Wind Temple for one more prayer. Now, Link, step into the light behind you and return to the surface. Your next duty is to find the Sage of the Wind Temple. I will remain here and continue to pray. You must hurry! Prince Kamali, please watch over him for me. The Master Sword's power still has not fully returned. Perhaps I am mistaken, but I fear the worst for the Sage in the remaining temple. You must hurry, Link. Are you the new hero? I am Fado of the Kokiri tribe. I know I appear to you as a child, but the eyes can oft deceive. I am a most esteemed sage. I had been praying here so that the power to repel evil would continue to be contained within the blade of the Master Sword. But I was attacked by the evil Ganondorf, and this is what happened to me. You wish to return the power to your blade, don't you? In that case, look for the one who has the same instrument that I hold, and teach him the song you just played. Once you do, I'm certain the holder of the instrument will feel the blood of the sages awaken within his veins. That Wind Waker you hold was used long ago to conduct the sages when we played our song to call upon the gods. In those days, it was always the king who conducted for us. Please, tell the king that I will still play, even in the next world. quite some time, have I? I'm surprised you were able to find me here. Hmm? You're wondering why I'm all the way down here? I'm practicing a new song for next year's ceremony, and I need privacy. It isn't any fun if everyone knows in advance what song I'll play. What? You can hear my song outside! R really I thought the sound of the waterfall would drown it out. Perhaps I should play a little more softly when I practice from now on. Why, is that a conductor's baton? Link, are you a maestro? That's incredible! Are you going to conduct for me, Link? What kind of song is it? I can't wait to hear it! Please, conduct! Does it go something like this? Strange. Why does it feel like I already know this song? Huh?
blink. The sacred song that you've conducted has awakened me. I know myself now. I am the sage of the Wind Temple. It is my fate to return the power to repel evil to your Master Sword. And to ease the regrets of my ancestors. Oh, Link, please! You must take me with you to the Wind Temple! Link, as was the case with Medley, I have no doubt that Makar, too, has some special role to play in these events. Discovering that role is your duty. I am certain that by cooperating, the two of you can overcome the dangers and pitfalls of this temple.
have fully restored the power to repel evil to your master sword. And my ancestors are most satisfied. I shall continue praying to the gods here. Link, please step into the light and return above ground. <sighs> May the winds of fortune be at your back. I see. So, the Forsaken Fortress is all ready. Ah, like a molten snake that casts off its dead skin. That place is so empty and quiet, one can almost hear the echo of dead leaves fall into the cold, cracked ground. Hmm. Why? What ails you? What? Lose a long face. The monsters are gone from the world. Doesn't that make you a little happy? Link, I have troubling news. Ganon has not shown himself above the seas since Baloo unleashed his fiery wrath upon him. And what's worse, there is not a creature stirring in his base of operations in this world, the Forsaken Fortress. I cannot imagine how it is possible. And yet, I cannot shake this foreboding feeling I have about the princess, Zelda. Link, you must search for all the Triforce Shards so that we can head back to Hyrule without delay. Link, do you know the legend of the Hero of Time? Once, long ago, he defeated Ganon and brought peace to the Kingdom of Hyrule. A piece of the Triforce was given to the Hero of Time and he kept it safe, much as Zelda kept hers. That sacred piece is known as the Triforce of Courage. When the Hero of Time was called to embark on another journey and left the land of Hyrule, he separated from the elements that made him a hero. It is said that at that time, the Triforce of Courage was split into eight shards and hidden throughout the land. Even I do not know where they rest, but this much I do know. They lie hidden somewhere in this great sea. to see you, sir. What should we play? What do you want to play? What? You're not here to play? Hmm. That fragrant, musty scent. Sir, you have found a chart. Splendid, splendid. Show me, show me. Why, you can't read that chart in its current state. Impossible, sir. Would you like me to decipher it for you? For 398 rupees? Tingle, tingle! Kulu Lim Ha! Become readable!
Well done, Link. You must show the Triforce piece you have assembled to the gods. What is this? There, on your hand. The Triforce piece now dwells within you. It is the Triforce of Courage, proof that you are indeed the true hero. You have controlled the wind and crossed the seas, and here, near the end of your quest, the power of the gods has been bestowed upon you. Surely, from this moment on, you shall be known as the Hero of Winds. Link, hero of winds, go forth to Hyrule, to Zelda's side. You have deceived yourself. Did you think you'd be safe inside the castle? Foolish. Now that my power has been restored, there is no safe haven for you. I have taken your precious Zelda. And here, you shall fall into eternal slumber! See you again. Ready to die? This is where you fall.
you sleep still? Wait. Do not be so hasty, boy. I can see this girl's dreams. Oceans. 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 Oceans as far as the eye can see. They are vast seas. None can swim across them. They yield no fish to catch. What did the King of Hyrule say? That the gods sealed Hyrule away? And they left behind people who would one day awaken Hyrule? Ha! <laughs> How ridiculous. So many pathetic creatures scattered across a handful of islands, drifting on this sea like fallen leaves on a forgotten pool. What can they possibly hope to achieve? Don't you see? All of you! Your gods destroyed you! I have been waiting for you, boy. For one like you. Yes, for the hero. <laughs> Do not betray my expectations. Hero of Time Reborn. Your time has come. Come now. Stand before me.
My country lay within a vast desert. When the sun rose into the sky, a burning wind punished my lands, searing the world. And when the moon climbed into the dark of night, a frigid gale pierced our homes. No matter when it came, the wind carried the same thing. Death. But the winds that blew across the green fields of Hyrule brought something other than suffering and ruin. I coveted that wind, I suppose. It can only be called fate. That here, I would again gather the three with the crests. That I should lay my hand on that which grants the wishes of the beholder. That when power, wisdom, and courage come together, the gods would have no choice but to come down. The power of the gods. The Triforce. He who touches it will have whatever he desires granted. Already, the Crest of Wisdom is mine. All that remains. Do not fear. I will not kill you. I merely have need of the power that dwells within you. Now, let us put an end to that which binds us together! of the sun once more! Let them burn forth! Give Hyrule to me! He who touches it will have whatever he desires granted. That is what you said, is it not, Ganondorf? Gods of the Triforce, hear that which I desire. Hope. I desire hope for these children. Give them a future. Wash away this ancient land of Hyrule. Let a ray of hope shine on the future of the world. And let our destinies finally be fulfilled. Ganondorf! May you drown with Hyrule! <laughs> this is foolishness. A future for you. <laughs> what are you laughing at, Ganondorf? You're insane. Link, I'm sorry. I overreacted. 
overslept. I think it's time for us to say goodbye to this place. We must return to the world above. Back to our ocean. Very well, then. Allow me to show you. Your future. Yes, allow me to show you just what hope you have. See how much your precious Triforce is worth! I'll use this bow to cover you. Attack him as best you can! And that cursed lake! They ripped everything I worked for. Everything I rightfully earned right out of my hands. And if I can't have this world, then I'll just have all of you drown beneath this forsaken sea! <laughs> <laughs> My children, listen to me. I have lived regretting the past, and I have faced those regrets. If only I could do things over again. Not a day of my life has gone by without my thoughts turning to my kingdom of old. I have lived bound to Hyrule. In that sense, I was the same as Ganondorf. But you... I want you to live for the future. There may be nothing left for you. But despite that, you must look forward and walk a path of hope, trusting that it will sustain you when darkness comes. Farewell. This is the only world that your ancestors were able to leave you. Please, forgive us. But wait! You could... you could come with us! Yes, of course! We have a ship! We can find it. We will find it. The land that will be the next Hyrule. So... 
Hmm. Ah, uh, but child, that land will not be Hyrule. It will be your land! I have scattered the seeds of the future. Tetra! Oh, thank goodness, you guys are okay. Miss! Miss Tetra! Huh? What?
our destination? 